All right, so in the second game of the series against the Angels, the A's got the victory this time. This time they won 3-1, to one, so we have back-to-back -back finishes of 3-1 to one in this series. This time, though, the A's prevailed, and the A's really had great pitching in this game. James Caprillion on the mound starting, he went 5.1, very solid innings, only allowing one run. And the A's bullpen, Mole, Puck, Acevedo, and Jackson, lights out. They were great. Um, all, you know, doing really well. Zach Jackson, I really liked his production and he had two strikeouts to get the save. Um, and, uh, I, I kind of think like the guys we saw tonight in particular pitching wise are kind of the guys I'm relying on to be part of our next good core. Um, they're young and they're good. So that was good to see. The A's had a good game from Sean Murphy as well, who's been really raking at the plate lately. Also, v Machine had a good game. <clears throat> so yeah, the A's get a three to one victory. They had eight hits today. Their hitting has been getting better. So I got to give them that. Sean Murphy, RBI single in the top of the fourth inning, bringing around Loriano. It was a close play at the plate, but uh, Loriano was able to score. And uh, yeah, it was a good hit by Sean Murphy. Now, <clears throat> Luis Renifo got an RBI double, and that was off Caprillion in the fifth. And so that tied the game up, made it interesting. Um, could not, you know, make the play out there in right field. The A's, and that made it one to one. Now, Sean Murphy, I mentioned him. He got his 13th homer of the year, a two-run homer off Shohei Otani. I mean, I thought the A's were going to lose this game considering Otani was on the mound, but we did very well. 3-1 um, after that homer, and it would stay 3-1. Over his last 45 games, Sean Murphy is batting 302 with eight homers, 11 doubles, and 23 RBIs. I know the A's obviously have a lot of good catchers in their minor league system, and so, you know, I thought it was interesting at the trade deadline that they did not trade Sean Murphy based on how good he's been um, and his value would be very high, but they kept him and he's still hitting well. Um, Otani, uh, he did pitch okay besides that. Zach Jackson, though, like I mentioned, got the save. Zach Jackson's been pitching, I think, pretty well this season, um, you know, compared to, uh, you know, who we had at closer, Lou Trevino. And obviously, I think Zach Jackson could be that closer role. So that was really good to see. 3-1 um, finish. Vima Machine, I mentioned him. He also had two hits. <clears throat> but yeah, Sean Murphy, he got all three RBIs in this game. Uh, we scored three runs, and all of them came from Murphy's bat. Uh, you know, But yeah, the A's top of the order was great. I liked this batting order. Tony Kemp leading off. He got a hit. Loriano got a hit as well. Seth Brown batted cleanup, and he got a hit. But also the bottom of the order did pretty well also. So it was good to see that, um, you know, hitting wise. I just think the A's did well. For the Angels, uh, sort of opposite to the last game, their top of the order didn't produce much. Renifo did do pretty well, but the Angels did not do great in this game hitting wise. Shohei, you know, like I said, he struck out seven hitters. He did pretty good on that account. But other than that, the A's, you know, figured him out and he allowed two runs. Um, and so, yeah, the A's got a nice win. It was their 40th win of the year. Uh, through 106 games so not you know a great win percentage there uh, pretty bad but it's good to beat a division foe and um, you know get a win like that so the A's obviously are going to play one more against the Angels um, in this series we're going for the win in the series and uh, that would be really good and then we'll have the battle of the bay and so yeah anyways let me know your guys thoughts on this game I will see you guys later and yeah go A's